Hello everybody, this is the tutorial for my Year 12 Math Method students. What I'm going to do in this presentation is to talk about function notation, which should be a little familiar from last year's work, and image and pre-image, which are new components, but really rely heavily on function notation. And all this again relates to exercise 1B. Now what I've done here is say, here's a function I've said, of, here's a function, f of x is equal to x squared minus x plus 1. Now, what happens, what is f of x equal to when x equals minus 2? So that would mean if in place of the x, I replace the x with a minus 2. So everywhere there's an x, I put in a minus 2. Everywhere there's an x, I put in a minus 2. So that would be minus 2 squared. Minus 2 squared is 4. Minus and minus is a plus. And two, uh, 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. So f of minus 2 is equal to 7. I'm hoping you remember that from last year. Now what if we do a different one like this? What if we do the reverse process? What about if we put in some number a and out comes 13? What number or numbers could we have put in? Because remember, this is a parabola. So it could be that there's 1 or 2 or maybe even 0 values that... I could put in to get some get out 13. So if f of a is equal to 13, and in place of x we put in a, this would be a squared minus a plus 1 is equal to 13. Now this looks like a quadratic, so I'll take this 13 across to the other side. So a squared minus a minus 12, because if I've taken away 13 from both sides, 1, 1 take away 13 will be minus 12. Now if I factorise this, this will be a minus 4 and a plus 3. Which means a could be equal to 4 or a could be equal to minus 3. So I could have put in it at 4 or 3 to get out a result of 13. Now the next one relies on function notation but doesn't use the same kind of language. Okay, so find the image of 3 if f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 1. Now the way I remember this is this. The pre-image goes in and the image comes out. So what I'm saying is if I find the image of 3, what that means is if I put in, in place of x3, the image that comes out, what will it be? Well, in place of x goes 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, so the image of 3 is 2. All you've got to do is remember this part here. It's just exactly like it was before with the function notation. Now what happens if we do this? Now we reverse the problem. Find the pre-image of 7. Well, if f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 1. Well, what that means is if I put in some value a and I got out 7, what could I have put in? So, if in place of x I put in a, I could say, well, the square root of a plus 1, that'll be equal to 7. Now, if I square both sides, a plus 1 is equal to... 49. I've squared that side to get rid of the square root, and 7 squared is 49. Now if I take away 1 from both sides, minus 1 from there, minus 1 from there, those 1s will cancel out. 49 minus 1 is 48. So the pre-image, I'll just put in PI for pre-image, is 48. So if the pre-image um, is 48, if, if the If what came out was a 7, what must have gone in was a 48. So 48 would have been the pre-image, and 7 would be the image. Alrighty, well I hope that helps with 1B. Some of the language there is a little confusing. I'll see you in class, and you can ask any more questions there if you like.